Fox is sponsored by Gold's Gym. Looking to build your ideal summer body? Gold's Gym fitness expert Ryan Brewer is here to share tips on glute exercises using the resistance bands. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I, I'm good. All right. So the resistance bands, you, you see them um, a, a lot, mm -hmm. but I, I don't use them often, even though I work out a lot. So it, That's okay. let's talk about the bands. So it's great to warm up the glutes. I have a lot of people that say, hey, Ryan, how can I get bigger glutes? Okay. How can I look a certain way um, and get my behind to look a certain way? Okay. So <laughs> what we got to do is activate the glutes. Now, of course, we can do the same exercises like squats, lunges, leg presses, things to really target the glutes. Mm -hmm. But but a lot of times that people are quad dominant, which is the front part of the leg, yeah. so they don't even activate the glutes. These are some exercises we can do to warm up your butt, your glutes, um, before you're squatting or lunging or doing other exercises to really target those areas. Okay, so, so give me an example of what you do and what, how yes. that's getting it fired up. So first we can do some ankle jumping jacks. So okay. with this resistance band, if you look down here, I have this resistance band around my ankles. All right, so you're gonna get a quarter squat position and just come out in, out, in. And what is out. that? What is that doing? That's activating your glutes a little bit. Okay. Right. So by putting that resistance band, you're actually using more of your glutes than the front part of your legs. Okay. And then we can do some walks. So it's the same thing from a quarter squat position, hands in the front, mm -hmm. so you keep that torso nice and upright and core contracted. And then you can walk forward. Okay. Stay on your toes. Walk backward. You can do lateral walks too. To the side. <laughs> now, it, it, this looks simple. So anybody watching at home mm -hmm. is like, oh, that's not easy. I mean, that's not difficult. I, that's, that's probably pretty easy Yeah, in terms of exercise. Mm -hmm. But it's not as easy as that looks. Well, it's it's not difficult. Okay. However, it's, it's hard to really connect with the muscle. Right. And that's the thing. When you're working out, it's not really just, you know, lifting weight right or you know just just lifting something that's heavier or moving the body but instead connecting with the muscle so what this allows you to do is warm up the body and mm -hmm. i recommend this before a big a leg workout mm -hmm. so you can really target the glutes especially if that's what your goal is um, that way you can really connect to the mind with the muscle. But this doesn't, you, you can't just do these and get the backside you want. You have to do these and the other, the bigger That's movements. what I would recommend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is a great warm up, and especially for beginners who have never, you know, tried any leg workouts in the gym before or glute workouts in the gym. So, you know, 20 reps um, of each exercise mm -hmm. definitely is a good warm up. Okay, perfect. All right, we're going to yeah. get some more tips when we come back. Fed with Fox is sponsored by Gold's Gym. We are back with fitness expert Ryan Brewer, and he is here to give us some pointers on how to properly do squats. And not only just doing squats, but you've got the resistance band to, to help with the form, or is that just another way to be able to do them? I do. So one of the big pointers with squats is that sometimes people's knees tend to come inward. Okay. Um, and that's due to a weakness in the glutes, which we just worked out before, 8 okay. o'clock. Uh, and then also weakness in hip abductors. Okay. So with the band, what this does is it prevents your your knees from going inward by putting pressure on there, so it's forcing your glutes and hip abductors to work. Okay, so, so let's So for see example, it. just a regular squat, you can put your hands in front of you, right mm -hmm. here. Coming out here, what it does is it's putting the pressure on your knees, so it's forcing your hip abductors and glutes to work a little bit more. So this is a fun way to do it. Fun way to actually learn how to squat with making sure that your knees aren't putting much, too much pressure on the inward, if that makes sense. Okay. So you can also do little pulses, and these are pretty fun to do. And then jumps <laughs> too, right? So you come in, jump up, and it's the same thing. This whole time, this band is just working to push my knees inward, so I'm using more of my glutes and abductors. And you're, you're, you're saying fun, and I, that's not the term I would use for, <laughs> for those. Those pulses right. burn. They Quickly. do burn. That's the good part about it. It's a good pain, right? Okay. I always say temporary pain for permanent gain, right? right? So, I mean, you're working out. And a, then a people couple... smack you. No, yeah, I'm just kidding. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, though. Eventually, you'll find exercise is really fun after you get it past those initial phases, uh -huh. right? Because at first, it is kind of painful. You've never worked your body out in certain ways. Exactly. Of course, you're going to feel it differently. So, this is definitely a great way to improve your squat. Okay. And uh, get that knee um, from, prevent that knee from caving in. And how do you know which band is the right band for you? Because they, they come in all, there are different colors, which yes. represent different things. So what, is there, do you want one so that you can get your legs a certain length apart? Or how do you choose a band? That's a great question. So this one is actually a really lightweight one. Okay. Um, and then when I bought this pack, 
um, which you can get online, or you can, er, they have it at gyms too. Um, you have different colors. I think the next one is red and then okay. black. They come in, depending on the brand, of course. But and that's the varying resistance. Yes. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So this one's a little bit more um, pliable. I okay, guess, so right? that's, a, so that's an like easier a one. <laughs> Versus like the black one that I got is a lot thicker. Right. Right, which for me, I have a bigger leg, so it's kind of difficult. But for someone who's a little bit thinner, maybe it might be uh, better to have the more uh, okay. thick ones. All right. So good way to start getting in shape. Yeah. As we head toward the summer, everybody wants to look good in their bathing suits. <laughs>